Hello everyone, it's just a quick video to tell you how to adjust our MPX analog gauge devices. So these are the devices that come on harnesses that require an analog device and an analog device is required if the swap motor is not an MPX native engine. So that would apply to the 1UZ non-VVTi, in which case what harness we have here. Also the JZX100 would also apply in that category there. And if you're using one of our devices to use an aftermarket ECU in your IS200, this is the device currently that you would be using. Okay, so obviously the device can adjust two things, water temperature and MPG. So again, you can adjust it exactly how you want and make it work how you want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through everything that you see here so it makes sense in the instructions down here. So if you look at the board here, that's how you're looking at it when you're looking at that diagram, okay? So down here, around the silver one, we've got S1, we've got S2, we've got the pot resistor over here. So those are the items that are basically required to carry out this adjustment. Okay, so normally with the ignition on, you're gonna see the light flashing fast, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into the different modes, okay? So basically you're gonna press S1 to enter adjustment mode, the HL3 LED, which is essentially the one you see flashing now, okay? That's the one you're looking for to indicate what mode you're in, okay? So there is three modes, but we're only interested in one and two. So one is water temperature adjustment and two is MPG adjustment, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the pot resistor to actually make the adjustment. So nice and simple, you're just gonna press S1. So remember S1 is the bottom one on the left. And as I press it, you'll see the LED is gonna flash once, pause, once, pause. That's indicating that we're in mode one. If I press it again, you'll see it's flashed twice, pause, and that's mode two. And then one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, mode three, and then it'll go back to normal. So you press mode one to go into mode one, okay? Once you're in mode one, all you're gonna do is use a screwdriver to adjust this pot resistor to get the desired result. So once you have to run in temperature, get it into the middle, all right? And then once you've done that, you're gonna press and hold S2 to store the setting, or you're gonna press S1 again to move on to mode two, okay, without saving. So effectively, you're not gonna save anything until you press and hold mode two. So in this case, just for demonstration, I'm now in mode one, as you can see. I'm gonna hold mode two down, and there you go. Okay, so now that's actually saved in there. So you've got a mode two, Mode, and then we're back to normal again. Okay, so in terms of how to set it up, a uh, nice easy way to do it is use a heat gun or whatever, or you know, laser pointer or whatever, just make sure that you're running about right. Uh, your fans should kick in. So what I would normally do is allow the car to get up to temperature, let the fans cycle in and out, say one or two times, then you know that the engine is up to running temperature. Then what I would be doing is then just adjusting that pot until you're sitting sort of smack bang in the middle there, so you know that you're happy. Okay, so that's it, hopefully that helps. And what I'll do is I'll include this at the end of the video for a few seconds so you can pause on it and obviously you can then take whatever information you want from there. All right, well thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you later, bye bye.